Hi Cancer, this is your December 20th through December 26th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you are not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week we have the Page of Cups clarified by the King of Swords, we have the Two of Pentacles, then we have the Temperance clarified by the Ten of Cups, we also have the Hierophant clarified by the Six of Pentacles, and we have uh, the Eight of Wands with the Sun on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Taurus. Um, so Cancer, you could be having more than one person trying to get your full and undivided attention or uh, if you're dealing with just one person then um, something is just not right with this person or you're not sure if you should even get into a relationship at this point of your life. Uh, something is um, making you doubt it. And uh, let's take a closer look. So we have the Page of Cups, clarified by the King of Swords. The King of Swords is either an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius you're dealing with or this person is very determined, this is somebody who is very straightforward, they know what they want and they go for it. And what they want or who they want is you, Cancer. But not in a negative way. So uh, the Page of Cups, this is them reaching out to you, uh, sending you flowers, um, just giving you compliments. You could be going out on a date if that is at all possible, considering what's going on in the world. Um, you know, it's just a very nice uh, conversation going on. Could be texting each other, emailing each other, calling each other, right? And uh, we also have uh, the Eight of uh, Wands with the Sun on the bottom of the deck. I'm deliberately skipping the other cards for now. The Eight of Wands is a card of communication, back and forth communication. Um, uh, the Eight of Wands is one of the fastest cards in the deck. Some people call it the Cupid's Arrows card. So there's a lot of love happening here. This person is definitely um, wanting to get this relationship going with you. And uh, we also have the sun underneath the eight of wands. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. They see you as the sun and you make them really, really happy. But um, like I said, you're not 100% on board. We have the two of pentacles right there, right next to the um, page of cups. I think this is you. This is either you deciding between multiple suitors or um, you're thinking really hard. Should you give this person a chance or not? Something is just uh, not letting you make a decision right away. Then we also have Temperance, clarified by the Ten of Cups. Temperance is, I think, very similar to the Two of Pentacles here. This is you sort of um, going through it in your head, pouring one cup of love into another cup of love, basically going back and forth, back and forth in, inside your head, right? But it's clarified by the Ten of Cups, so the Ten of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to um, emotionally fulfilling relationship or even marriage, right? So you are thinking in your head, is this the right person for me? Is this the one whom I want to have a family and have children together? Is this the one I want to marry? Right, and then in the outcome we have uh, the Hierophant clarified by the Six of Pentacles and it's pretty much the same thing. It's very similar to the uh, Temperance clarified by the Ten of Cups energy. The Hierophant could be a Taurus you're dealing with, but if we want to stay general, the Hierophant is uh, about something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage, and it's clarified by the Six of uh, Pentacles, right? The Six of Pentacles could be you deciding between multiple offers, multiple people, or in this case, because the person standing in the Six of uh, Pentacles, I know you can't see it, but the person is holding up the scales, so um, this is the person trying to figure it out, trying to put all the uh, pros and cons into those scales and see what the, uh, what the outcome is going to be for them. In, I'm talking about their thought process, right? So. Everything in the spread suggests um, that you're not 100% sure, but if you have doubts about this person, about their intentions, like I said, they are really into you. They, you make them happy. You are the sun for them. And uh, they are really, really looking forward to starting a relationship with you. But um, you are not 100% sure.
Cancer, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this person going forward, and we'll get you an advice. Cancer, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the High Priestess, we have the Seven of uh, Pentacles, we have the Ace of Cups, and we have the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, you could be dealing with a water sign, another Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Uh, the Queen of Cups is most likely you, Cancer, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And I think your significant other has a surprise for you. Um, the High Priestess, the first, card that, the first card that came out, this is something hidden from you and uh, me, all of us. And uh, the Seven of Pentacles right there, this is you waiting. For that because you just watched this video and uh, you are aware they're preparing something for you and uh, you're anxious to find out what it is <laughs> and then we have the ace of cups the ace of cups is uh, that surprise um, or they're gonna tell you I love you for the first time they may propose to you they may uh, offer you to make your relationship official um, or exclusive, they may offer you to move in together, basically take your relationship to the next level, or it could just be a, a gift. Perhaps you're celebrating uh, this week and uh, they will surprise you with something amazing, something really, really good. The Ace of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love, so like I said, it could be love related, but it could be uh, simply a gift for whatever reason, and uh, the reason could be a holidays that are approaching us right now. So, um, yep, <laughs> it's going to be something good. I hope um, it comes through for you. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you. Cancer this week. Uh, keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago, or a couple of years ago. We have the Page of Cups, clarified by the Five of Pentacles. We have Justice. We have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. And we have the Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Libra. Or you could be dealing with an earth sign because we've got lots of pentacles here. So this person is uh, currently feeling left out in the cold. That's what the uh, five of pentacles here represents. The card clarifying the page of cups. And uh, they want to come out of the cold. They want to bury the hatchet. They want to uh, bring this relationship back to life. And uh, they have major major apologies for you so the page of cups is an apology and justice is either a libra you're dealing with but justice could be a major major apology it's kind of like the page of cups on steroids right and uh, then we have the ace of pentacles clarified by the eight of pentacles so they'll come back and they'll promise that they will put a lot of effort into this relationship going forward and uh, they may give you something like a gift with the Ace of Pentacles, or they may promise you something out of this world, right? Something very uh, significant, because the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity, right? Then uh, it's kind of symbolic that the Ace of Pentacles is uh, clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, because in the Eight of Pentacles, you see this person is working really hard on uh, his or her pentacles, one pentacle is in particular, and that's the pentacle <laughs> I think we see in the Ace. Of Pentacles Woof. Um, but the four of swords on the bottom of the deck I think this is you who will need to take a break and uh, think about it you may tell them to uh, come back in 2021 because 2021 is right around the corner um, but you may also decide to give this relationship another chance here um, everything looks good I don't see this person having any ulterior motives I think this person is really sad, I think they're really sorry about the way things went down in the past and uh, like I said, they are ready to put a lot of effort into the situation and uh, they really want to get back into your good graces. Let's talk about your work, your business and your finances, Cancer, this week. We have the Emperor, we have the Sun, we have the Magician and we have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries. Wow, three major Arcana cards, guys, and um, they're very serious, very determined, and uh, happy <laughs> at the same time. You could be getting an offer with the 801s to start a new job, or it could just be communication from your boss, from your superior, because the Emperor could be somebody who is, uh, who's got the authority 
like a figure of authority they could be wishing you um, happy holidays it could be a bonus check or it could be a promotion or it could be uh, something that will make you really really happy because the Sun right there in the middle this is the happiest card in the deck or you could be uh, thinking about 2021 yourself and uh, you're thinking about making changes perhaps you're thinking about opening your own business taking control with the Emperor card with the magician this is you thinking about different strategies you're manifesting something in your life and basically you it almost feels like a new year resolution so you're looking into the future with the magician and uh, you're um, thinking about different ways to improve your life and, and improve your financial situation and I think you will come up with a couple of ideas and uh, I think you're just waiting for 2021 to start implementing those ideas or start making changes positive changes into your life you know it's all about improvement here it's all about taking control it's all about doing whatever makes you happy here all right cool Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, Cancer, this week. We have the Ace of Wands, we have the Devil, we have the Page of Wands, and we have the King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Water Sign, another Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So this could be about work or it could be about love, or I should probably say lust. <laughs> the Ace of Wands together with the Devil and the Page of Wands, this is... Um, could, it could be an invitation coming from this King of Cups to get busy behind closed doors, if you know what I mean. Because the Ace of Wands and the Page of Wands are all about passion. And the Devil is something very, very tempting. And the King of Cups right there, it could be a Water Sign, another Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Or it could just be uh, somebody. <laughs> it could be a love interest or a potential love interest, right? So, um, yeah, this is what you're not expecting. If this is about work then it could be a, a new offer to start a new job and it will be very very tempting with the devil card again the devil could be a capricorn you're dealing with but most likely the devil is uh, they will make this offer very attractive so that will make you think but um, i don't know what you're gonna do cancer it's up to you i'm not judging it's your life <laughs> as long as you stay safe all right so that's what I got for you, Cancer, for this week. Hopefully it resonates, and uh, other than that, have a great week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.